an excellent piece of electronic security technology an engine immobilizer system, also known as a car immobilizer, essentially serves as a deterrent to vehicle theft. Its goal is to keep an automobile from being hot-wired and taken by a thief without an ignition key. Studies have shown that since cars were equipped with immobilizers, there have been 40% fewer auto thefts. If you bought a car manufactured in the last 20 years, you've probably already used this technology without even realizing it. Car dealerships now distribute what are essentially key fobs or smart keys in place of actual car keys. For this reason, the key base has buttons for opening and locking trunks, car doors, and occasionally even remote car starting. Your car's immobilizer can give you serious headaches if it has issues. Watch the video to learn how an engine immobilizer operates, what to look for when it breaks, and how to fix it. And just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. Symptoms of an engine immobilizer system malfunction. Similar to other electronic devices, immobilizers can malfunction and cause issues for you. The following are the five most typical indicators that something is wrong with your car's immobilizer system. Unlocking problems. The doors of your car do not unlock when you try to remotely unlock them with your key. Sadly, a lot of contemporary cars lack exterior keyholes, making it impossible to manually open the doors with a key. This implies that your key won't be able to unlock the doors if you lock the doors from the inside and then close them, making it impossible for you to get back into your car. To unlock the door at this point, you would need to contact a locksmith. Locking problems. If you are unable to unlock your doors, it is likely that you will also be unable to lock them with your smart key, much like the previous symptom. The only way to lock your doors without a functional smart key or key fob is to lock them from the inside when they are open and then shut them. This has the drawback that you run the risk of forgetting your car keys inside and being unable to get them out. Engine does not start. Your car not starting at all is one of the most common signs that there is an issue with your engine immobilizer. There are many possible reasons why your engine won't start if it weren't for the issues with the locking mechanisms. However, if you encounter those issues and your engine refuses to start, there is obviously a problem with either your immobilizer or the smart key itself. Key and ignition does not turn. Should your key fob require you to turn a physical key inside the ignition and it remains stuck, there might be an issue with the transponder chip located within the key fob base. The security code isn't being sent to the vehicle immobilizer for some reason. This is frequently the result of water damage, water and electronics don't mix, or the chip actually breaking because the fob fell or was crushed. Make sure you're using the right key fob for the car before ordering a replacement. It's not a given that your spouse's key fob will fit your car just because you both drive the same model. Car alarm problems. Since the immobilizer is your car's primary security feature, a malfunctioning immobilizer will prevent your factory installed car alarm system from operating. How to fix. Replacing the key fob battery is a simple solution for many immobilizer issues. A tiny battery is required by many transponder keys in order to transmit the security code to the vehicle immobilizer. Replace the battery carefully to avoid unintentionally damaging the transponder chip inside. If you've changed the battery and it's still not working, the transponder chip may be damaged in some way. In this scenario, you will need to get in touch with your neighborhood auto dealer and ask for a new key. You should be ready to spend $100 or even several hundred dollars on a new key because they are not inexpensive to replace. A replacement key fob will typically cost more the more expensive the car. If the vehicle's immobilizer system is the cause, the corrosion or damage to the wires may be the reason. Maybe there's a problem or malfunction with the engine control unit or its sensors. For additional troubleshooting in these circumstances, you would need to visit an auto dealership or auto repair shop that specializes in electronics. Hope the information was helpful to you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.